Greetings and salutations, imaginary friends. Uh, don't mind the random white crystalline powder uh, on the table. I was making crystals. Uh, what we're here to talk about today is the circuit for the inner wand. Ah, oh, where's my blocks of wood? I forgot to set it out as a, a silly promo. There we go. There's a block of wood. There's now it on the table. So that will be where all of this sits. This is the battery that will be inside of the wand providing power. There is the charging circuit. I don't have that hooked up because it's not uh, necessary for the demo right now. This is going to be providing power. And just to show you that it works, we're going to turn on the yes fairies button. And the way this is going to work is that light will turn on when I touch this little thing. This is a capacitive touch circuit. So I touchy, lighty goes on. All right, so we're going to start from the beginning. We've got our battery, 3.7 volt. Um, Universal only knows how many amps are coming through that I could figure it out. It's probably like, I don't know, look, based on the light, it's probably like uh, 400 milliamp. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so we have our battery. It's powering the capacitive touch circuit that you see here. See, it says touch. The yellow wire coming out here, got the yellow wire, is the one that um, essentially is going to be on the handle. So when the person touches this, it'll be wound around the magic wand's handle. Again, we're doing a mad imaginary world, just, just work with me. So you're gonna touch it, and the, this is gonna be sat inside and it will turn on. Now the other thing that should happen is I also have a breathing circuit, which is what you see here, and that should oscillate this light. And there you go, it's oscillating. So that it will give it some, ooh, there we go, we got a little bug, first little bug. Um, it's supposed to continue oscillating, Okay, there we go. No, it's out. So uh, clearly I have some more testing to do, but that's why we do these test fit ups to see how things go before I do the wire in. Um, so that's, uh, it, it is breathing, but I needed to come back to life. Please do. Also, this is gonna be a UV light. My UV lights are still on shipment from uh, the Great Chinese Mountain, which has not arrived yet. Uh, you know, downside of ordering parts. So this is a breathing circuit. Basically all it does is once you have our uh, touch magic activated, it uh, causes this to periodically cycle. Um, and there you have it. That's gonna be the interior magic. It's gonna be UV. So that way when the light comes on, it triggers the phosphorescence of powder that is going to be on the outside of the wand. It does its magic thing, super cool. The point of this is that it will allow the wand battery, the 13690 that you have here, standard 13690, nothing special, um, to be charged wirelessly so that it doesn't need to be plugged in. The worst thing about kids' toys, as we all know, is either batteries or plugging things in. So we're trying to remove that element here. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd share this with anybody who's interested in following this project before it uh, gets input into this. Other caution I would mention is uh, lithium ion batteries come with their own set of concerns. So make sure you read your literature to understand how to mitigate against those. Um, yeah, happy making out there. Peace, y'all.